I cannot wait till I'm all grown up. And why is that? Because when I'm a grown up, I can make my own rules. My mom has way too many rules, and they're all mean rules. Like what? Well, no pop for dinner, no staying up past 9 o'clock on weekend nights, only one piece of candy if I eat a good lunch. When I grow up, I'm going to make my own rules. Can you please write them down for me so I don't forget? Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Here they are. Eat cookies and candy for breakfast. Drink pop with every meal. Go to bed after midnight. Boss your brother around. And finally, last but not least, and the best one of all, get one of every toy in the toy store. Oh, whoa. I can't keep up with all that, Hannah. That sounds like an awful lot of rules. Yeah, but they're all fun rules. Well, Hannah, now what would you do if you get a stomach ache from all that pop and candy? Well. Or how about if you get sick because you didn't get enough sleep? That could be a problem. Um, and who is going to play with you if you're bossing everybody around all the time? Hmm. And where in the world would you get enough money to buy one toy of every toy in the toy store? I didn't think of that. Hmm. Rules aren't there to get us upset, but to help us. Now, what would happen if a toddler just went wandering out into the street? It might get hit by a car. That's right. Now, that toddler's mom has a rule to stay out of the street. But she didn't make that rule because she was mean. She made it because she loved him and she wants to keep him safe. I guess there are some good rules. Yes. Good rules are not about being mean, but about love. Now, in today's Bible event, we are going to learn about the ten rules that God gave to the Israelites and to all people. You're talking about the Ten Commandments, aren't you? Mm, that's right. These rules teach us about how to love God and how to love other people. It sounds like we're ready for our take on points. All right, take it away, Anna. God's rules are cool. Obey them. Okay, we're coming. Oh, hey, boys and girls. I am trying to stay on this path. Sometimes it's kind of tricky. Yeah, tricky. I know. I'll say I was tricked when I got off the uh -huh. mat to pick up a quarter. It was glued to the floor. Gordy, what? You shouldn't have been off the path anyway. Well, there shouldn't have been any quarter there. Mm, well, that's the way it is with temptation. Um, when we go through life, we are often tempted with things that God does not want us to do. Yeah, but He mm -hmm. doesn't. He doesn't glue down quarters. <laughs> That is true. But he does tell us that when we get off the path of following him and his commands, we usually have bad consequences. Oh, what mm -hmm. was I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Just walk by and leave that quarter there? Miss Sarah. Exactly. Oh, you're no yep. fun. You're That's no exactly fun at all. It. You would probably also say I shouldn't have gotten that candy. Oh, candy. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know about candy. But did you get off the path? To get the candy? Well, of course I did. Oh, then you shouldn't have got the candy. Um, what is that going to hurt? Well, Gordy, it might be hard, but don't you see when we get off God's path, then we usually have consequences. Oh, my bad, bad ones, consequences, huh? oh. yeah. That's why God wants us to stay on this path so we don't get hurt by our own bad decisions. But, 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 but mm -hmm. I don't always know what the right path is, and I don't think I can stay on that path all the time. Well, Gordy, um, the Israelites had a hard time too, but God gave us something to help. Yeah, like what? Like the Ten Commandments. Oh. It helped the Israelites make the right choices. But it's still mm -hmm. hard to stay on the path. Mm, yep, it, it is. is. But who gives us the power to stay on the path, the best path, the power to keep well, the Ten let Commandments? Me see. Um, well, let me give you a hint. Okay. He also has the power to forgive us. Okay, that would that would be. Uh, uh -huh. um, let's see. Uh, mm, well, you know, Gordy. Yeah. He lives in our heart, well, and uh, when we yeah. trust him. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. Gordy, oh, yeah. you know this one. He is God's son. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Gordy. Yeah. His name starts with the letter J. Oh, I have a Jonah. A Gordy? What do you mean, Jonah? Oh. Are you oh, kidding me? Sarah, I was just teasing. Oh, sure. I was getting. We all know it's Jesus. Girls. It's Jesus. Who gives 
gives us the power to stay on yes. the path is Jesus. That is exactly yeah. right. Gordy. Gotcha, didn't I? You got me good. <laughs> Why don't you lead us in closing prayer today, oh, Gordy? Okay. All right, we'll hold our hands, boys and girls. Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving your life for us so that we would have the power to follow the very best path, and that's the Ten Commandments. Thank you that you walked perfectly on the path before us. If we get off the path and the road gets bumpy, give us forgiveness and bring us back on the path of the Ten Commandments and following you. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, Gordy. Now let's hear how God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Ooh, that's Bye, boys and great. girls. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. King Rodney here today to share with you today's Bible event, and it comes from Exodus chapter 19 and 20. Two months after the Israelites left Egypt, God led them to the wilderness of Sinai. Now, they stood in front of this big mountain on which God had appeared to Moses as a burning bush. Remember the burning bush? On this great mountain, God would give to Moses and his people directions for how to stay on God's path. Moses went up this mountain to talk to God. God told him to say to the people, You have seen how I have rescued you from slavery in Egypt, and how I have carried you and brought you to myself. Now if you obey me, and keep my contract with you, all of the nations will be my treasured possessions. So Moses went back to the people and told them this. The people were willing to do everything the Lord said. Then God once again called Moses up to the mountain so God could meet with him. This time Moses took Aaron, his two sons, and 70 other leaders went up the mountain no one else was allowed to go. All these men saw the glory of God. They did not see the fullness of His glory, but they saw how wonderful and how majestic God was. The Lord told Moses, Come up to see me and stay with me. I will give you tablets of stone with the laws and commands I have written for you, the people, and their instruction. So Moses told Aaron and the leaders to care for the people while he was with the Lord. Moses took Joshua with him and climbed the mountain. While Moses was on the mountain, a cloud came and covered it for six days. On the seventh day, the Lord called from the cloud. He invited Moses to come inside the cloud to be in his presence. To all the Israelites, this cloud on the mountain looked like a consuming fire, and they were scared. Moses stayed on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. During that time, God carved the Ten Commandments on tablets of stone. We have those same commands today. When we follow those commandments, it's just like staying on the path that God wants us to follow. Whenever we fail or we stray off the path, Jesus offers each of us forgiveness. God can show us the best path to follow, the Ten Commandments. So remember, God's rules are cool. Obey them. Number four. That's right. Number four. Okay, Dad. 
Yeah, I know. The uh, commandments are really important, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Yeah, we have to love God. Yeah. And then those commandments kind of all group into that, don't they? About loving Him and praising Him and keeping the Sabbath holy and doing all that. And then there's all those commandments about loving your neighbor. Yeah, I love my Oreo. She's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. Yeah, she's my and, neighbor. And you wouldn't lie at oh, her no, or hurt her no. or say oh, bad things like, about her. No, because I treat her when they... When you give me that yummy candy, yeah. Candy. yeah after I, I finally get the, the yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. When I finally get, when you yeah. finally get it, you yeah. do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's I, good. I share it with you them. share. Uh -huh. See, and that's being kind to others, isn't it? And yeah. loving others. Uh -huh. Good job. Good job. Well, today's Bible take-home point is yeah. all about God's rules and that they're very cool, aren't they? Oh, I guess. And what are we supposed to do with God's rules? Do you know? No. We have to obey them. Oh. So here it is, kids. Help me out. God's rules are cool. Uh -huh. Obey God. Let's do it one more time so that I can remember it too. Here we go. God's rules are cool. Obey God. That's an easy one. You think you got it? Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Here we go. Yeah. God's rules are cool. Miss Miriam likes to drool. What? There are a lot of words that sound like cool. Like drool, drool right? Drool. drool. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, my, yeah. Albie, yeah, yeah, like, you yeah. kind of got off on a tangent there. Oh, it's not about rhyming words, is oh, it? Oh, I thought it was. Oh no. Are you sure it's not? It's not. Oh. It's not. Here we go. Let me try it one more time, okay? Okay. God's rules are cool. Obey God. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Here we go. Uh -huh. God's rules are cool. I want a chocolate-filled pool. Oh, oh, oh yummy. A oh, whole oh, pool filled with chocolate. Yummer. Okay, I don't think you got off the rhyming words. Pool rhymes with cool, too. Yep. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. I'm you getting need in to trouble. Think it. You need to think a little okay. harder. Okay, okay, okay. It okay. doesn't rhyme. It doesn't rhyme. It doesn't rhyme. Okay? All right, let's try. It doesn't rhyme. It doesn't rhyme. Okay, here we go. God's rules are cool. Obey God. All right. Are you ready? God's rules are cool. My second cousin is a mule. Oh, mule. 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 Cool. Drool. Pull. Oh, that's right. I'm not supposed to rhyme. Oh, it's not rhyming. I'm not supposed to rhyme. I'm not supposed to rhyme. I'm so sorry. It's not rhyming. Are you it ready? just sounded cool. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound kind of cool. Okay. But, yes. Here's a Charleston shoe. It's really, really big. Oh, it is big. And it's yellow like you. Yummy. And it has some chocolate in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yummy. it's really sweet. Oh, geez. Oreo would like it too. And Oreo oh, would yeah, like it too. Yeah. So, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Here we go, kids. Okay. One more time. God's rules are cool. Obey God. I really want to share that with Oreo. Me, you, God's rules are cool. Obey God. Amen. Yay. Obey God. That was a short one. Thank Great you. Great one. Here you go. Thank you. Bye, kids. Bye, guys. Number. stays the same so hold on tight and follow real close god is good and he's in control clap your hands like this now do the twist stomp your feet the same
the same.